Tea time with Trav. I am officially back in the gym. Because the most active I was during this pandemic was from my bed to the kitchen to the film room, back to the kitchen, back to my bed. That's it. And occasionally the bathroom. And a liquor store. And a liquor store again. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo Jarvan. I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, I have Chinese chicken. Y'all thought January was going to end without me eating Chinese chicken? No. So, let me go ahead. I'm going to say grace. Then I'm going to start taking all the air. Father God, I come here today to ask you to watch over this food. Please let me nourish me to my body. Please let me not just this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, one more time. Amen. How was y'all day going today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But I bet you I'm missing something. I know I am. Y'all know I got the hot sauce and the sweet and sour sauce. Y'all, I saw um, B-Love had did a, was it, I think it was 20 chicken legs with sweet and sour sauce. I was like, I might do that. I just might do that. Y'all know I got to give y'all the close up. Now, why does the one come out? Don't get on my nerve today. Okay. Y'all ain't had this in a whole month. That's how I get egg for young. I don't even know what egg for young is, but I'm eat it. I ain't never had it. Mm. Mm. I hear people like talking about it, but like, is it an egg? I don't know. Is it chicken? Guess we're gonna have to wait and find out, I don't know. Where is it? Oh, right here. I'm like, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. Good. So they said it. You supposed to put this on there? Why it look like that? Why it's so thick? Okay, hold on. Cause now I'm scared. Is this made out of egg?
Uh, uh, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Mm. Oh, no. Ew. Oh, I'm not eating that. Uh-uh. No. Oh. Mm-mm. Is that... Is egg for young, like, vegan meat? God, no. Nope. You ain't getting me. I ain't eating that. Anyway, y'all, after this bite, we're going to go ahead and start chitter chatting. Tea time with Trav. Yeah. I got back in the gym. I am officially back in the gym, y'all. That's why I look like this. Why my hair not done. No, no. I'm tired. I have worked on my abs. I've worked on my chest, my arms so far. This, this is only day number two. I'm beat. Y'all, I'm beat, but I knew I need to get in the gym. Back in the day, I used to be in the gym five, six days a week. But now, I have to. Y'all. What we have to remember is, I know we're in a pandemic still. Some people are still afraid of COVID. But the more you just sit around and you're constantly feeding your face and you're not exercising and stuff like that, when we get out of this pandemic, you're going to be in for a lot of trouble. And I don't want to be in trouble. So that's why I say, you know what? I got to get in. I have to. I have to because we are coming up on a year of this mess and if I'm just sitting around the whole year just eating I'm running I can because I don't I'm not going to gain as much weight as y'all want me to for whatever reason but I'm used to being an active person anyway mm. Y'all know I play sports. Y'all know I dance. This stuff, so I'm used to that. So um, it was like sometimes I would go walk around my building or jogging the parking lot and just to be some kind of active. Because the most active I was during this pandemic was from my bed to the kitchen to the film room, back to the kitchen, back to my bed. That's it. And occasionally the bathroom and a liquor store. And the liquor store again. But that's it. <laughs> so, I was like, nah, nah. You need to go get in the gym. And when I got, you know, I, I called them like, what safety measures are y'all taking to make sure that people are good? And y'all forgot to turn the air off. One second. I right, y'all, I'm back. Did I put my house in already? I don't know. But anyway, they... Y'all, they give you like sanitizer to spray any machine that you use before or after. Um, they have different social distancing tactics that they put in place. Like each machine, <clears throat> excuse me, is like one to three machines in between that somebody can go to. So if I'm on this one, it's at least one, sometimes two, maybe three that they'll say is out of order due to social distancing and then the next person can be on this one. So I felt comfortable and of course I wear my mask the whole time. I'll be in there dying because I'm going to take my mask off. And I'm good. I'm not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I went this whole pandemic without COVID. I was making sure that I was taking care of myself. 
So I don't want to get COVID from trying to protect my health. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm not trying to compromise my health by protecting my health. So I gotta make sure. Y'all yeah, don't get what I'm trying to say. It probably sounds crazy, but y'all know what I mean. So, no, I don't want no problems. Um. Mm. I called up one of my frat brothers who was like a fitness guru. And I'm like, look, I need some pointers. I need tips. I am just like that. So one thing he told me I could try is I try to count all my sets. So if I'm doing sit-ups, how about, okay, I'm going to do five sets of 20, which is 100. He was saying instead of doing that, try to give yourself a time frame. See how long you can do um, these exercises. Y'all, I'm not eating that stuff. I'm going to eat this little rice over here, but that's it. So now what I've done, instead of counting, I will play a song and I will do whatever exercise I'm doing for the length of that song. That makes sense. Um, that's been working because sometimes when you count, you lose focus. Or I've even psyched myself out because I was trying to count. Because I'm like, no, you have to get to 100. You have to da 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 da. But if your body is telling you no, then that, that's it. You like, you got to listen to your body. So do as many as you can during whatever time frame you give yourself. Because eventually, it'll it'll become more. The more you do it, the longer your time frame will be, the more you can get done. And I had to remember when I went in there yesterday, it's your first day back in over a year. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> take it easy, but don't take it too easy. Stay grounded and work, but don't try to go overboard. Mm -hmm. I have to remind myself. And it worked. And I like to know. Y'all know how some people say they don't. They don't like to go. With a gym, a lot of people or stuff like that. No, I don't either because it's COVID. <laughs> Boom. But, and that's why I go when I feel like most people are working. I'm blank. However, I do like to look at other people work out. And I say that because, let's say someone's on a treadmill. Before I get to the treadmill. And when I get there, I see that they're going and going. And at some point in my mind, I'm going to be like, look, I want to stop. I'm tired. But I'll look at these people who are still going and I'll be like, no, they've been on here longer than you and they're not giving up. So why are you giving up? So seeing other people working hard and working out motivates me to keep going. Excuse me. It definitely does. As long as they stay six feet away, it motivates me to keep going. No I'm like, okay, good day. And I also, I'm not like, 
a fitness expert, so sometimes I don't be knowing what to do. So sometimes I'll mimic what other people are doing. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm like, oh, he got big arms. He's doing this. Let me do this. <laughs> Make mom get big. You know, stuff like that. Or sometimes I don't know how to work the machines. And I ask my, excuse me, can you tell me how to do this one? That'd be me. And I don't care. I show will. And tomorrow, well, by the time y'all get the video, it'll have already passed, but I'm gonna work on legs. My legs and thighs, I ain't working on my butt. I was born like this. <laughs> I ain't touching it. No. Tomorrow is leg day. I think I'm gonna do leg and back. Probably. Probably leg and back. Well, I could just do um, legs itself. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna do back a different way. So, I like leg day because my legs are strong. I would get mm, mm, but with my legs though, of course. It'd be fun. What I like about arm day, or it pushes my muscles out, y'all, literally. When they get to tiring up, it's like they'd be swollen and they'd just be sitting there like that. You know, it ain't much, but it's something. And I still got strength. I can pick people up. I can do whatever I want. But when they get to swelling up and burning, I know I did something right. Now, the pain ain't good. The pain be like, oh, my word. Take me to the king. But... You know, it, it's worth, I know at the end of the day, it's all going to pay off and it'll be worth it. Because I remember when I used to go to the gym faithfully, I was happy with my body. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm not happy right now because I am happy. I'm very happy. I like the way I look. I just want to tone up. I want to tone up like my arms and stuff like that. But other than that, I like the size of my am. Even though y'all be trying to, y'all be in the comments like, ooh, I think you're getting big. Da, 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 da. No, no. I'm getting to where I want to be. Thank you. Mm. I don't know who take. Oh, that's y'all comment on YouTube. I about to say I don't know who keep hitting me up. That's all. The day that I'm filming this is the day that that nasty barbecue video went out. Y'all know I was sick to my stomach. Cause I love barbecue. I mean, I love all food, but that potato salad was it. The beans, it. The sausage was dry. Um, the pulled pork sandwich, meh. Let them get it, meh. That's what that was. Overall, I was not a happy camper, and I was, you know, that word. Let's start with a P and end with an ist. That's what it was. And somebody commented, I, I know I ate the rest of that food um, after I turned the camera off, and no, I did not. I actually threw it in the garbage. Actually, I got up through the garbage probably before the camera cut off. Because I was so disgusted. I was irritated. Mm.
How do y'all feel for the people that work out or they don't work out? How do y'all feel about well yeah, everybody actually. How do y'all feel about a workout partner? Do you think a workout partner will motivate you to work harder? Or do you think they'll distract you from working as hard as you should be? That's a good question. Because a lot of people that I know that do work out, they like they do really good on their own. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm wondering how they would be if they had a partner. Would it be motivating or distracting? I would, I mean, I would hope that I could motivate them, but I'd probably distract them because I'd be cracking jokes and stuff. But I definitely want a workout partner. I do. But it's got to be serious. I don't think anybody's going to be playing. Or they don't know what they're doing because if we get in there looking like two blind mice, he was saying we have a problem. I don't know what Oh. Don't waste my time, but workout partner needed. All right, I'm about to go and find out some fool. So, if you haven't checked out the website, www.aotf.com is right there. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, bell right there, boom, and bell right there, boom, so you can next time to video, but if you're on second night with the child. So, back to the script, somebody's going to have to bar, boom, right there, you see me social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that, you're gonna me, follow me, let me come on Instagram, 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 let me come on